Hello, everyone. Thank you for stopping by today. Uh, if you are new, welcome. My name's Dee, and I am an avid YouTuber, reseller. I sell on YouTube and eBay. I love to go thrifting. I do crafts, uh, cooking, baking, shop-alongs, you know, the usual, uh, you know, jack of all trades, master of none type of person. <laughs> so if you are new, welcome and uh, welcome back to all of my current friends. Uh, talking, you know, this is like a vintage community um, and we love vintage. Um, I mean, it, it is getting a lot harder to find these days, but speaking of vintage, this sweatshirt that I am wearing, I have had since the early 80s. And it is my favorite sweatshirt of all time. I love it. But anywho, I just thought I would share that little tidbit of information. You know, sometimes you find a, a clothing item that you just will wear it until it falls off your body. Well, that would be this sweatshirt. <laughs> and it's still in amazing condition. That's that's the thing. It's still in amazing condition. So sometimes when you're out thrifting, you get lucky and you find vintage items that are still in impeccable condition. Um, I do find items like that um, on occasion. And uh, I do have some of these items today to show you in this thrift haul. So this is a combination of Goodwill and Salvation Army. So as you all know, um, I go to Goodwill on Tuesdays because that's when we get our 25% off senior citizen discount. Yes, I am considered a senior and I will turn 60 uh, in, a, in a few months, a couple months actually. Um, and then the day before, I went on a Monday to the Salvation Army, and I got a lot of stuff at the Salvation Army. I was very pleasantly surprised on the items that I found on the shelves on this particular day. So, without further ado, let us get into this thrift haul. So I will say at Goodwill, I did hit the jackpot on purses. So for those of you that don't know me, I am the thrift purse queen. <laughs> I do find some really amazing purses at the thrift stores here. And this was no exception on this day. I will start with. This vintage, well, I guess you would call it vintage Dooney and Burke pebbled wallet slash crossbody purse wallet. It is in amazing condition other than the fact that there is like pen. See the pen on the sides here on the inside? So the person obviously had a checkbook and a pen in here, and that's what happened. I don't know if I can get that off, but the wallet itself is in amazing condition. I mean, you can see. So the person had this tied in a knot. Um, I'm going to try to heat this leather up with my heat gun and soften it up and try to straighten that out. But... I mean, what a beautiful wallet. And I don't, I, if I do find Dooney and Burke, they're asking outrageous prices. This I got at a really good deal. Uh, I was very surprised. So that's item number one of my purse finds. Then I found another beautiful vintage beaded and sequined a little clutch purse. This was made in, I believe it's, um, it's got to be cleaned on the inside. Uh, it was made in Hong Kong. You can see that there's a little bit of staining on the inside. Normally what I do, thanks to one of my subscriber friends, they told me that they use um, 
uh, Dawn Power Wash, and it really works fantastic. So I may, you know, pull this out like this and try to uh, clean it. But I love finding vintage purses. Now this one is missing the chain for it, but I may be able to take care of that. Uh, I do make jewelry as well. I used to make it a lot more. And I do have chain downstairs and jump rings. So I may be able to fix it. I'm not sure yet. If not, I will just sell it the way it is as a clutch. Then I found this gorgeous fossil purse. Look at this purse, you guys. It is in amazing condition. It's dirty. I got to clean that, you know, but I mean, this purse is amazing. It's in, I can't believe the condition. I mean, it's not dirty inside or anything, right? I mean, what a great purse. I love it. Yes. Oh, I'm not done. There's more. <laughs> now this purse, I thought, was the coolest purse I've ever seen. And that's why I bought it. Let me put these down so I can show you. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay. Right, there's the bottom. And then it's got a, a magnetic, or not a magnetic, but a snap closure. Look it, you open it up and it's got a zipper like this. And it's awesome. It's got, there's no pockets on the inside. It's just one huge compartment. And somebody left their uh, eye, eyeglass wipes. <laughs> but, and a penny. Yes, yeah, see a penny, pick it up all day long. You'll have good luck. So, I mean, what a cool purse. And this is made by Material Things. And I'm going to look this up and, and check it out and see what these purses go for. Um, I absolutely love this purse. Um, I had to get it. I'm like, that is the coolest purse ever. Love it. Love the design, the colors. So, um, there was a spot over here on the front, which I got the, the power wash and sprayed it on there with the damp cloth and it came right out. So there's a couple other little spots on here. I may, I may, maybe not, put it in the washing machine. But I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna, you know, spot, spot clean it because I don't want to ruin the shape of it or anything. What a cool purse. I love it. And the coup de gras, the coup de gras of my purses today is this fossil backpack. This thing is in impeccable condition, y'all. Impeccable condition. I mean, it's got this awesome zipper pouch on the front, a little pocket right here. Um, you undo this little snappy thing. You can, you can uh, draw it closed with this, okay? See? And then it's huge on the inside. Look at this. I mean, you can't, it's hard to see, but it is huge. This is a gorgeous bag. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. I did pay up for it, but I didn't think it was bad as I thought they were going to price it at. So I did, that's why I did get it because it was, and then I got 25% off as well. So, you know, it was worth it for me to grab it. So, yes. So we got, those are my purses for today. Um, I, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. 
So excited of these finds. Beautiful. All right, I'm just making room because as I show things, I'm gonna set some things on the chair because my table is full. Okay. Next, I purchased this, this pink. Um, now, I think this, I don't know if this is as old as, you know, the 30s depression, but it does have its original lid on it, and it is a little dented, which I will fix. So, I don't know, but it's just this little shaker bottle with pink, it's got strawberries on it. I loved that, so I definitely wanted to pick that up. I also got this uh, very cool vintage wood um, napkin holder. How cool is that? That is so cute. I love it. It says, made in America, wood craftery for Americans. And I just thought it was awesome. I'm going to clean it up and leave it just the way it is. It's amazing. I love it. Then I got, this is so cool, guys. Um, I got this. This is, I don't know. It's, it's pewter metal of some kind. Look at this sleigh. How cool would this look with a bunch of mercury glass Christmas ornaments in it? Oh, I love this. Now, it isn't marked. I have no idea who makes it, but I said I have got to pick that up. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think of this. I just really thought it was different. So I'd, I'd like to know your you guys' thoughts on that piece. Um, I also found this little Corningware tea kettle. This is just like a couple cups worth. Um, but it's missing a lid. So I'm hoping that on my travels, I will find a little lid for it. Um, I find a lot of, you know, little spare parts um, when I'm out thrifting. And I usually will pick them up when I see them. Um, that includes like baskets for percolators and stuff like that. I'll grab them because you never know, like in a case like this, where you're going to need a lid or a replacement part. So I did pick that little cutie up. <laughs> it's a three cup. It's a three cup. So um, then I got these. I thought these were so cool just for like decor. And they're still on their original. Um, these are uh, shoe trees. And they're still on their original packaging. How cool are those? I love these. I was like, those are so neat. Had to get them. I had to. Had to pick them up. Now, um, a while back, I found um, a goodie bag full of amazing old vintage kitchen utensils. And I did find another one, but it's not as good as the last bag I found. So here it is. And let me show you what's in here. I'm going to try to do it quickly. Um, there was this little pack of uh, coasters. Um, there's 12 uh, reversible coasters in here. They're like cardboard. Then we got this vintage um, ah cake decorator. And it does have all the little attachments that go on it. We have a little uh, donut uh, form, I guess you would call it. We have green handled cookie cutters and a red handle one. So let's see, here is a bell. We have the club shape. We have the spade. Another spade. I know there, I thought there was another one of those in here. Maybe not. And then we have one with a black handle, which would be like a biscuit cutter, I'm assuming. Then we have a bunch of these. Let's 
we have two more of these um, birds. We've got another horse. And then we have a lion. Look at that one with the green handle. And then we have three um, gingerbread men. Two of them have their little faces and stuff. And one is just plain. I've never seen a plain one like that. And then I found um, these were in here as well. We've got a rabbit. Uh, I don't know, some kind of animal. <laughs> oh, that's a fish. A heart. And another fish. And then here are the... Um, the pieces that go to the, um, oops, to the um, decorator kit or decorator thing. So, yeah, that was a nice find. Um, I will probably um, bag these up into individual um, lots and sell them like that. That's what I'm thinking. So, we shall see. All right. Perfect. All right. I can set that back here. All right. Then I bought this beautiful pack of uh, Christmas napkins to use for um, decoupaging. So this will go in my craft stash. How beautiful those are, right? I love them. I also found this, this really cool galvanized um, pan slash, you know, tray or whatever. I thought that was really cute. It's almost the size of a 9 by 13. Oh, somebody had this in their yard sale and had a price of 5 bucks on it. I just noticed that. There we go. <laughs> I love when they don't take the... Uh, the garage sale price tags off at the thrift stores. They just leave them on and then put their price on it as well. I'm like, why would you do that? Why? That doesn't make any sense at all. Whatever. Okay. Especially when they're asking more for it than they were asking for it at the garage sale. Like, seriously. Okay, then I found this. I showed this um, in, in my chat the other night with Scott and Vinny after Scott's live sale. Got this awesome pewter teapot. I got to clean these up because they're really dirty. But it's the teapot with the creamer and the sugar bowl. Now, the sugar bowl is missing its lid, but you know what? Back in the day, they didn't have lids. They had open sugar bowls. So what's the difference? But there it is, pewter. So I picked that set up. I thought it was awesome. There's a little dent in the uh, creamer. Um, but I did fix the dent that was on the bottom here somewhat. It was kind of uh, dented a little bit. So I did fix that. So I picked that up. Then I got this ceramic pumpkin that someone made. I just stuck a candle in there so you could see it. Isn't that awesome? I'm not, I, I'm not real thrilled with the color that they made the pumpkin. I, well, the, I mean, the pumpkin color is okay. I think maybe... The uh, stem needs to be a darker brown just to kind of break up the colors because it just seems like everything is melding together, if you know what I mean. So let me take this out and blow it out. Well, not blow it out. I'm going to use it in something else to show you. All right, so let me slide that out of the way. And the last couple things, few things that I got. So I found this. Look at this, guys. This penguin. Now, you can use this for hot and cold, I believe. West Bend, yes, penguin hot cold server. Now, this is in really great condition. 
Um, with the exception of this one handle, it does have a boo-boo. As you can see, it's cracked. But it, you can, you know, it doesn't, you know, stop you from being able to pick it up. Now, there's a seal on the inside here, and you can see it's like dry rotted. But, hey, it's old, you know, it's from the 50s or 60s. So, but yeah, there is the, um, the maker's mark on the bottom. So this was a great find. And these are all Bakelite, the handles and stuff. So, heck yeah, I was happy to find that. Some lady saw it in my car. She goes, oh, that's a great find. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I was so excited. Okay, so I had mentioned to you guys before that I, I see these two ladies every Tuesday, Debbie and Cindy. And Cindy, or not Cindy, Debbie had this particular item in her cart. And then she decided not to give it, so she offered it to me. And I said, yes, thank you. So, Debbie, thank you. I got this beautiful, look at this bowl. It's hand-painted and signed. There is the signature. What does it say? 1960. This is a big bowl. Okay? Um, it, is, it is German. Um, uh, I, I never can pronounce this name. Kirchenwuther or something like that. And it's a, an Irene... Wickham Original, 1960. So, and she did, uh, yes. It's W-I, hold on. W-I, I can't, I don't know if it's an E or an S. K-H-A-M, Wickham. So, yes, that was beautiful. So, Debbie, thank you again for um, offering this to me because it's beautiful. All right, let me set that back over here. Okay, and the last couple items I got is I got, um, there's two of these. It's a set, these little snowman cups with lids these would be awesome for hot chocolate that's my thought but you could have anything in here um and again i do have uh two of them so i will sell them probably as a pair <laughs> aren't they cute love them they're made by msrf incorporated design studio out of chicago illinois Okay, and the last item from Goodwill. Now, this is some type of resin or something, but it is gorgeous. Look at this tray. Look at that. To put on your dresser or in your bathroom. Isn't that beautiful? I said, oh my goodness, it's a very, I don't know what the material is, but I was like, that is beautiful. I have to pick this up. I just love this piece. So that is everything I got at Goodwill. And I spent... $85. And I saved $28.24 with my discount. $85. That's pretty damn good. So I was excited. I was excited on that trip. All right. Um, we are going to move on to Salvation Army. Ooh, did I get some goodies? Yes. All right. So, um, this first item from Salvation Army, um, there's a price tag on it from some other thrift store. 
that, and then somebody donated it and they never took the price tag off. But this looks to me like Majolica and it is a planter. Uh, it's very crazed. I do have to wash it on the inside. Um, it, it has something on the bottom here and I'm gonna see if I can make it out. Pardon my head right in the camera. Uh, I can't make that out at all. Um, a, I don't know, but it's this little indented mark on the bottom. You could see the crazing. But yeah, I just thought this was awesome. So I definitely wanted to pick this up. I love it. It's got a little pink chip right here. Tiny little pink chip. It actually feels like, yeah, where the, uh, like, uh, where the color didn't um, make it or something. All right. Then I got this. Now this has a little hairline crack. But I I just love this. I had to get it. Look at this little planter. Isn't this awesome? How stinking cute is this? So it's got a little chip on the corner. But I could take like um, a blue Sharpie or something and, and finish this blue line so that it's not as noticeable. But... It's old, guys. Like, you know, uh, it does have a, a back stamp on the bottom. It does say Japan. It says Made in Japan on the bottom. So I had to pick this up. And I don't know if that's really, no, it doesn't have a hairline. It was the chip. There's no hairline. It was the chip. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I'm looking at it, and I'm like, no, that's all crazy. So, I got that beautiful little planter. This is so cool. Look at this. So, to me, it, it, it's just like a little casserole. But look at the lid. How stinking cute is this? Now, I would think that this is like Portugal or Italy or something. It isn't marked, so there's the inside of the lid, right? Look how cute that is. And then it's just this bowl. Isn't this awesome? And there's no crazing or anything on it. There's no chips or cracks. I said, that is so cute. I love it. I know you guys, you probably like this too. I know you do. I, I know, I know. It's very cool. All right, then I found this gorgeous party light. Uh, it was, it didn't have the box, but I didn't care. Look at this. Is that not gorgeous? Look at that cobalt blue. OMG. Absolutely love this piece. Oh, yes. Blow out the candle. Love that piece. I found some vintage Avon still in the boxes. This is so pretty. It's a little bud vase. Look how pretty this is. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I just thought this was adorable. Now, I have um I have a clear stopper that might fit in here. And it could also be used, you know, in your bathroom for bubble bath or mouthwash or something like that. It doesn't have to just be used for a vase. You know what I mean? Very, very pretty piece. I love it. I was like, now that is pretty. 
fix this, put it back in here. Very pretty. All right. And then I got, uh, again, in the box, this is, um, these are candle holders. And these are the 12 Days of Christmas candle holders. Um, you know, there's your partridge and then the pears. That's where they get it from. It says Avon on the bottom, of course. And it's for taper candles. And these are brand new. They were never used. So, I mean, how pretty are those? You can't, you, oh, I'm telling you. I just found some great stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, then I found this. Uh, this is a left in piece, and it is this nurse figurine. Look at her. Isn't she pretty? When I see um, any, like, nurse items, I think of my friend Joanne. Uh, her channel used to be called A Work in Progress, and it is now called Bat Thrift Crazy, which I absolutely love that name. Um, but Joanne, um, is a nurse. So, uh, yeah, I just thought this was awesome. So I did pick that up. There's your left in back stamp. If you're not familiar with Joanne's channel, I will link it in the description box below. Uh, she, she does a lot of thrifting at the bins and stuff like that. Uh, she lives in Raleigh, North Carolina. So she goes to the, um, to the Raleigh uh, Durham um, Raleigh Durham Rescue, <sighs> but anyways, yeah. Okay, then I found a rolling pin, and y'all know I like to upcycle these. This is a new one. This is not like a vintage one. It's made by Mainstays, which is a Walmart brand. So I'm gonna do a little project on this. So I got that for myself. In fact, I'm gonna set it over here because I'll want to take that to the craft room. Um, I also got this adorable Halloween cup. <laughs> I should just keep it for me for my everyday cup because I, I am a witch at times. <laughs> it's got the little cover to keep your, your beverage hot. Um, then I got, oh my gosh, you guys. I should have just left this lit. I found a piece of Northwood. Now, it does have a lot of paint loss um, of the gold that was originally on here. But I didn't care because it's gorgeous. Look at this piece. OMG. I, it's got straw marks in the bottom. See those little lines? Yeah, those are straw marks. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at how beautiful this looks with a candle in it. Is that not absolutely stunning? I love this piece. Oh my word. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then I found this. Look at this eagle. Look at that. You could put that on a light base or put this light puck. Oh my word. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my God. It's crystal. It is crystal. It says RCR Royal Crystal Rock Cristallo. Made in Italy, 24% lead. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my word. Mm -mm -mm. Beauteous. Oh, it's hot 
gosh time. I knew I shouldn't have put a sweatshirt on today. Woo wee. Excuse me, folks. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Then I bought this. This is gorgeous. I have to wash it. Oh my word. Look at that. No cracks, no chips, no crazing. Um, it does have paint loss on the gold in areas. Um, it, it says something on the bottom, but I don't know. I don't know what the heck it is. It looks like 80 something. I don't know. Um, I just think that this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you guys, I, I found some great stuff. Ooh -wee. All right. I'm going to set this over here. Okay. This chair is just making all kinds of racket. All right. I also found this lamp. Now this is flashed on color and some of it is flaking off. But how cute is this lamp? It works great as you can see. But look how pretty this is. You just have to be careful when you clean it because the color is flashed on. You can see maybe, it's kind of hard to tell, but you could see there where some of the flashing is coming off. Um, my thought was maybe if you could find like the same color green, you could paint it from underneath so that you don't notice that. You know what I mean? Just a thought. Just a thought. I just thought that was a really cute lamp. So I, I picked it up. See, here's some of the flashing. Look at. <laughs> All right. Now, I did get one per, uh, two purses at Salvation Army. Another gorgeous vintage beaded purse. Holy cow. This purse is in fantastic condition. This is made in Hong Kong. Look at it. It's clean as a whistle and it has its little chain. You could also just use it as a clutch if you wanted to as well. Isn't that gorgeous? It's it's just beautiful. Um, I did notice, well, no, I don't know if there's actual beads missing. There's some, some of the dangles are missing, but who the heck is going to even notice? You know what I mean? So, guys, I was thinking of perhaps doing a, a vintage purse drop sale. So I'd be interested to know what y'all think about that. Um, I may even do a poll on it on my uh, YouTube um, page. Um, there's a couple things that I'm interested in doing and want to see what you guys think. So anyways, so there's that purse. And then I got a Vera. Look at this one. How cute is this? And it's got a long strap that you could take on or, or um, leave off. Look at this. It says Vera Bradley right on the, um, the clasp there. But look how cute this is. <laughs> what a cute little purse. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Now, it's got to, I have to do some spot cleaning, like right here, see? But that's like nothing. I mean, this is gorgeous. It's in fantastic condition. Loved it. 
I also got a breadboard, cutting board, that I'm going to do something with as well. So I'm going to stick that over here with my pile of stuff to bring downstairs. I got this beautiful little tablecloth and napkin set, you guys. All right, so this is the tablecloth. It's all been hand um, cross-stitched. Oh my gosh, this is, all oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, this is, I would say that this is probably like 50 by 54 or something like that. Because this will fit my kitchen table. It might be a little bit longer, but that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, just look at that. Oh, beautiful. No stains or anything. So, so pretty. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize it was that pretty. Um, and then it comes with napkins. Let me show you. They just have a little... Um, little decoration in the one corner. So there's one, two, three, four. There's six napkins. No stains or anything. That's a gorgeous set. Absolutely beautiful. Very happy with that. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, guys. Um, I did get this set of Coca-Cola. <laughs> Salt and pepper shakers. How cute are those with the polar bears? <laughs> Loved those. Now, I think this probably is supposed to have a lid. Um, I could be wrong, um, but I got it anyway because of the color. Look at this gorgeous Indiana glass um, diamond point. I'm going to call it a candy dish. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? Um, no chips, no flea bites. Um, it's gorgeous. It's in fantastic condition. So I picked that up. I told you I found some great stuff, guys. But wait, there's more. Look at this awesome green bottle. Would you look at that? Isn't this awesome? Oh my goodness. It's like raised 3D looking. Oh, this is beautiful. And the color, it reminds me of Anchor Hawking's forest green color. I mean, it's just beautiful. And the texture on here, look at that. Oh. Here's the bottom. Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh. Love that. Now, uh, I think this could be Cambridge Blue Capri. If I'm wrong, please let me know because I probably am. <laughs> You know I'm not up on my glass, and I don't know the pattern. Oh, my word. Look at this. Show you the pattern. Looks like dogwoods, but it's beautifully etched. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that a stunner? Ah, ah, I couldn't believe my eyeballs when I saw this stuff on the shelf. I was like, oh my word, I'm hitting the jackpot today. Then I found this. 
I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Now this is red glass. This is not flashed on glass. Probably anchor hocking would be my guess, but like I said, <laughs> I'm probably wrong, but look at that pattern. Oh, it reminds me of a sun. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Oh, can you imagine serving some Christmas cookies or something on this plate? Oh, holy cow. All right, and the last item that I found, and this is in perfect condition. There's no um, scratches on it, no chips, no flea bites. It is in perfect condition. We have this gorgeous uranium glass cake plate with the feet. All the feet are in perfect condition. There's no chips or anything on them. I can't, I can't get it to show. Hold on, guys. It's not showing today, but trust me, it does glow. It does glow like nobody's business. This is, I think this is the sunflower, the sunflower pattern. Did I tell ya? Did I tell ya that I found some great stuff? Oh my goodness, I was so excited. I'm still excited, can you tell? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um. So anyways, guys, this was, I think, a great haul. Um. A lot of wonderful items. A lot of these items will be offer ups in my live sales. I have live sales every Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I also do um, a, a sale um, here and there during the week with other YouTube um, friends. So um, I... You will, this is where you will see a majority of these items will be in my live sales. Um, but anyways, everyone, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button and share it with other people. Um, leave me comments below and subscribe if you're not um, a subscriber already. I would love to have you join us here. We have a lot of fun. Um, I also want to mention that I also have merch. Um, I have eBay. Um, those links are in the description box below. Um, if you want to help support my channel, there's also a buy me a coffee link um, in the description of um, my videos as well as um, in the about me section on my YouTube page. Um, and just a reminder to everyone to please remember to watch at least 30 seconds of the, the commercials that are in the videos because that's how um, we get paid for our content. All right, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'm going to go film yet another couple videos. So you will see me looking exactly the same in the next few videos. <laughs> so take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.